What's up guys, welcome back to another video, so it's Reese Williamson for those who actually do not know me And yeah, welcome back to the channel So today I'm just going to keep it nice and simple, the weather is terrible uh, Basically what I did was I put up a question answering on Instagram uh, So I've basically answered most of them on Instagram, but I've kept a few for this one Probably answer the same questions as well as I did on Instagram So as well as a wee question answer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through one of my, my protein packages that just came uh, literally not, I can't remember what I ordered actually, uh, just from the My Protein Voucher. Uh, I've also done a giveaway, which I said before, and I'm going to give away three clearways, which I'll show you now, uh, in this video anyway. But what I'll do is I'll just go through the video, just answer some questions, and I'll just go through what I actually got. Anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, first question I'm going to answer is, does fasted cardio actually make a difference? Yeah, of course it does. I always see cardio, obviously, as a tool. Uh, so it will burn calories at the end of the day. It won't burn fat, it will burn calories at the end of the day. You need to be in a calorie deficit to burn fat. So if you're doing, like, fasted cardio or any sort of cardio, it will burn calories. Uh, and that's what you need to obviously burn the fat. For me, it's all down to time. So if you've got enough time in the day and you can do like morning uh, fasted cardio, I would always say yes. I prefer doing fasted cardio to normal cardio because uh, I'm getting nothing in my stomach. It's very light. I feel I've got more energy. Uh, and I do feel a lot better. I have a better performance when I'm actually not eight. Uh, for example, an incline walk and even a wee jog in the morning. But to be honest with you, there's a lot of fads out there that say fasted cardio is like the best thing out. To be honest with you, uh, there's a bit of truth behind that where when you do fasted cardio you burn your fat cells instead of like the energy you consume from food, like glycogen from carbs or anything like that. Uh, which is partly true, but to be honest with you what I'm going to say to now is it's beneficial to do any sort of cardio, so if you can do if you don't get time for it, obviously fasted cardio, do not try and like, force yourself to do it. Just do some cardio Burn some calories and you will reach your goal a little bit faster. Okay, we simple one, what do you use to edit videos? What do I use to edit videos? So, for me, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Very simple, uh, you pay 20, I think it's 20 pound a month or something. Uh, just an ongoing uh, subscription. Very simple, I've been using it for a while now. And, yeah, I've, I probably wouldn't use another platform to be honest with you. Very simple and that's probably what I would use if you want to edit videos. Okay, what body fat percentage for your abs to show? It's all down to like the genetics and the way you store your fat. So, for me I don't really store a lot of fat on my front section. So all about the size of my back. Uh, that's pretty much what I store. I store maybe a little bit of my legs as well. Nothing in my stomach really. So I, even when I come up to like, even like 15-16%, like I probably have abs and it's just down to genetics. You can't spot reduce so it's not as if you can just go bam I'm gonna release all the fat in my stomach. It's not, it's not like that. As much as that is a pain in the arse you cannot spot reduce. Um, it's probably the worst thing ever. So if you can do as many crunches as you want, see at the end of the day you need to lose body fat for your abs to show. Everyone's basically got abs. You just need to use, uh, you need to lose the body fat and it's all into genetics. If you store body fat in your front section it might be the last to go. Just keep on grinding. Okay. What's the best way to eat if you're trying to get lean? So there's not really a specific food choice that I would say is the best way to lose body fat or like get lean or grow muscles. So there's obviously foods high in protein, high in carbs, high in fat or just a bit of both. A bit of all three of them really. Um, but there's no foods out there that will literally make you skinny or make you lean or massive. You basically just got to get yourself into the right macros and the right calories for you to reach your goals. The best thing I say is to stick between the 80 and 20% rule. 80% clean, like clean whole foods, stuff that's going to be nutritious. So the 20% is about a dirtiness, so like you can have something that's a wee treat or if you're going out. It's still going to be in your macros, but still going to like keep yourself satisfied. So the 80-20% rule is always best for me, even I do that myself. This means like maybe a little bit of peanut butter or something that's a little bit tasty because I do like a bit of sweetness. You all know that. I feel as if I'm eating as much as I can but don't seem to be putting weight on. Any ideas? Okay. Right, so for me, there's different ways of doing this. Make sure that you are actually eating the right amount of stuff because although you might feel like you're eating a lot, you still might not be eating enough. Like for me, I'm eating around 4,000 calories just now. If I was to eat any less, 
at the moment anyway, I would see myself losing a bit of weight. If you are struggling to get any more food into your diet, maybe switch your foods. Uh, maybe actually switch to more like calorie dense foods. So if you're, for example, if you eat like chicken all the time, it's very lean, so it's not getting any fat, all protein. So for me, maybe switching to like something that's a bit more calorie dense, like a bit of steak, which is protein and fat, to try and up the calories a little bit without actually eating another bit of chicken. Stick to maybe more calorie dense foods, as this will kind of help you, even different choice of cereal, even like bananas instead of like strawberries, something as little as that, is just to kind of increase your your calories but drop the volume. I'm going to contradict myself a little bit here, because I always think that if you cannot stomach any more food, it might be because you're not moving enough. Uh, this means that you may have to do a little bit more cardio just to literally get the f the, like, the food moving about your stomach. Also get like, your appetite going again. But I'm going to contradict myself and I might say that you may be doing too much because you might be burning all the calories off you're consuming. So kind of like I'm kind of contradict myself here. But I just say just watch what you're doing in terms of cardio. And this may be because your weight training might not be heavy enough. Are you progressively overloading what you're doing? As this will maximise muscle growth. Also. Don't be so caught up in weight. Don't be so caught up in weight because weight is just a number. It's just your relationship with gravity. So, in my opinion, I always say measurements and photos probably the best thing for you. Get some weekly up late, weekly updated photos. All this will tell you is if you're getting any bigger in terms of your muscle mass and if you're looking any leaner. If that's the way you wanted to go. Okay, next one it just says pancake recipe. What we'll do is I'll link the pancake recipe up here, the one in my last video, and I'll probably just show you where to find it my channel. Okay, best tips you could give someone to reach happiness. Okay, that's quite deep. I've answered this already on my Instagram. Okay, basically the best thing I will say for this is just take every day as a new day, love your life, even the bad days, the good days, all your friends, don't take anything for granted and just be grateful for everything. It just shows you that hard work, just a bit of dedication and just being patient with everything, like the universe will help you. It will guide you to where you want to be, where you need to be. So just be grateful, be happy, enjoy life and just enjoy the people around you. Friends, family, everything like that and yeah. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Okay, if I could travel anywhere just now, it'd probably be like the Maldives or something like that. I think it looks amazing. I love to go there just to relax, chill out and just see the world uh, just for what it is. But I would also love to go to Australia just for a bit of travelling. I've never been to Australia. I've been to America, that's one place I wanted to go. I actually want to go over now, so I appreciate it a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely love to go and chill out, even in Maldives, Bali, uh, somewhere like that, and then go to like, Australia even New Zealand just to kind of explore. <laughs> Trend is kicking in it seems. Oh natural baby. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go grab the My Protein package and just show you what I got and show you what I'm giving away. Be right back. Okay I've got my package. What I'll do is I'll just go through what I'm giving away first and then what I'll do is I'll show you what I actually got. Okay what I'm giving away is two peach tea clear weight isolates and also one mojito. Mojito! So I have tried both of them. I prefer this one to this one to be honest with you. Uh, but they're both excellent. Uh, so that's what I'm going to give away. I'll leave it till probably Saturday. Uh, so when this video comes out you've got a little bit of chance to enter. Uh, so what I'm going to ask you to do is either head over to my Instagram uh, at the bottom of this video or even in the bio and I'm also going to ask you to comment on this YouTube video just two people or just just say what flavour you want and I'll add you to the, the raffle basically if you comment multiple times then I'll put you in multiple times just so you get a better chance of winning obviously so what I'll do is I'll literally just try everything on just so you can see the quality of the products are really really good I must admit I wouldn't just say this it's a company I work with and I do buy them no matter what I've been using them since I was like 15 so trust me guys, trust me if you're nearly 6 foot, if you're 5'11 then mediums are always a way to go for me uh, so that's probably what you should do I'm going to try one, I'm going to try on the joggies I'm not getting socks on I don't like wearing socks ok guys, change of plan all the footage I got from me trying stuff on was basically all bloody. So it's the next day, so I'm gonna like Saturday, cut to Sunday, back to Saturday to answer all the questions again. I got this. 
I absolutely love these ones. I've never had a pair like these ones before. So they're really fitted, like the quads are so tight. You can see the literally the definition, uh, definition of my quads. The glutes are very tight as well, and it's literally everything's fitted even to the bottom. So I bought these in a medium, but they are quite small in length. So if you like longer joggies, maybe I'd go a size up for this one, I'm not sure, but I like them where they are. Uh, where the ankles will be shown. They've got zips at the side, and they've also got the MP badge here. Nothing at the back, but, uh, but both, both pockets are zips. I like these, I like these. Casper! So these are called the 7 inch shorts. Very, very comfy. They're actually very stretchy. Didn't think they were stretchy, but they are stretchy. Uh, they've got a little bit of lime green at the sides, and they both have zip pockets, so both pockets are zips. Nothing in the back, then they generally sit. They have a hand length above the knee, which is pretty pretty okay to me. Uh, I would maybe use these for like legs as well, I could use them for anything. And they are very stretchy, don't know why I squatted there, to be honest with you. Something that I usually do not go for, uh, and it is the oversized tees. So this one has got a black tape down the back, let me stick some for you. Black tape down the back, very casual tee, I think this is part of the rest day one. So as you can see down the back, let's get the MP. I'm not a guy that uses or wears oversized tees, but I would generally wear this either relaxing or warming up in our session. But I love this one actually. The length, is, it is quite long. It's quite a long tee, but I think the, the graphic in the back is pretty sick. Okay, so this is the Dry Tech t-shirt, it's blue. I don't know if it says cobalt blue or something. Let me just check for you. So this is cobalt blue. I absolutely love these t-shirts. These are the performance t-shirts. These are the ones I would actually wear most of the time. So the arms are very fitted, very stretchy. It's got a little bit of pattern. I don't know if you can see that down the back. Down the centre in the back, which is really sick as well. And I love this blue. It's absolutely stunning. Matches my eyes. So this blue, for example, this is something I actually do think suits me. Okay, last thing I'm going to show you is the hoodie I bought. Uh, this is a kind of navy hoodie. What is it? Okay, so this one, it's got the white tapes down the sides, both arms. It's also got the VMP badge here. At the back, it's very plain. It's a very neutral colour. Uh, I really do like it. The fit is like very, very good. It's very stretchy, as you can see. Uh, and it just fits in your skin. Just for example, I'd maybe wear training, but I think it's very trendy, so I would maybe wear it out. You never know. Okay, literally what I'll do now is I'll link back to the other video, uh, because that's where this kind of cut off. Uh, what I did was just finish the questions, just spoke a little bit about my protein. Okay, I'll see you in two seconds. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll answer some more questions. Uh, so somebody's asked here, does my ab workouts actually work? Of course they work. Mm -hmm. So what they do is, your ab workouts are basically to increase the strength of your abs. To basically, they're just like any other muscle. So your ab abdominal muscles are basically like your bicep muscles. If you work on them, they'll basically grow. But at the end of the day, you actually do need to lose the body fat to allow them to see, which is a bit of a pain. So if you do as many crunches as you want, it's not going to show unless your body fat is reduced. Going to McDonald's, what are you getting? Like what I would get is a double bacon egg McMuffin if it was in breakfast. And for normal, I would just get like a Big Mac. Okay, your idea of a perfect date. So as long as it includes food, I'm happy. One thing to get a six pack by summer, all of the quick plans don't work. Any tips? In my opinion, do not follow any of these fad diets and then quickly jump onto another fad diet and another fad diet. Basically, just be consistent with whatever you do. Anything works as long as you're consistent. So just try and get a calorie deficit. Like I said before, this is how you're gonna get your abs to show is if you lose body fat. So stay in your calorie deficit, just be consistent and just stick to whatever you're, whatever you're doing. Uh, make sure you exercise, you eat well. My tips to be honest with you, if you're really struggling, just find yourself a good coach that can coach you towards getting a six pack for summer. But do not follow any fad diets that's gonna allow you like six pack and three hours, it's not gonna work. Okay, how can you lose fat and tone up legs? So I answer this on my Instagram anyway, a lot of girls ask me this. Basically girls are genetically store stuff and even their lower tummy, the, their bum and their, just their thighs, their legs. Um, you cannot just spot reduce, I've already told you that. Basically the approach for this one is you need to progressively overload your weight training on your legs. 
try and work out your legs maybe like two to three times a week and just progressively try and get stronger uh, this will tone up and build some muscle the reason why you do this is because it will increase metabolism in your body which will burn the fat they'll burn the fat uh, more likely if you've got more muscle mass in your body uh, also what it'll do is if you've got more muscle in your legs or appear that you have got little or less fat and you can't spot reduce your legs if you're going to lose body fat you're going to lose it all over your body and it might not be the legs to go first so just keep on pushing like I said for even the wind guys for their stomach and their abs keep on pushing eventually lose the fat off your legs but you just need to be patient and consistent with everything and definitely do leg training answer this as well who's spicier Regan or me Regan I know it's a joke question how do I get swole AF but what I'll do is I'll answer it. <laughs> if you want to get big, you need to eat big, you need to lift big, and you just need to do it every single week. So basically, what I'm doing at the moment, I'm doing a lean bulk, but basically you need to lift heavy, heavier and heavier and heavier each week. This will grow more muscle, grow more muscle tissue, um, and also you need to eat a lot. You need to eat a lot to give you energy and allow your body to recover and build new muscle. So if you want to get swole AF, just do everything big. Okay, what's my ideal amount of weight to lift for each lift? Okay, I take it means like bench, squat, deadlift, over. Okay, so what I've been doing is focusing on like bench and I, I did focus on my squat, but not anymore. Uh, so basically I've injured my knee a little bit, so I need to watch what I'm doing. Not a little bit, a lot. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so I'll continue to do legs in a way I'm not going to hurt myself. But yeah, so bench, I really don't want to hit like 140 for one in the next at this bulk anyway if I would love to get like round about where I was like 185 if I can not deadlift in a while because of it because of my legs and also I'd love to get back up to like a 160 170 squat so anyway that's all the kind of like realistic questions I'm going to answer the rest are just absolutely stupid I'm not going to answer like fancy a pint <sighs> yes I do fancy a pint remember guys if you want any more my protein products down in the bio, why do I keep saying bio? Down in the description and also in the video I'm going to put along here um, my discount code so you can use for 37% off from, it used to be 35 now it's 37 but yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed the video guys, if you did make sure you drop the video a like and also if you've not subscribed already hit the subscribe button and the wee alarm bell so you know when I posted a video or not. So guys remember stay positive, stay grateful and I will see you in the next one.